Okay, so hopefully when you completed the Newton Second Law, its mass effect lab, you <clears throat> learned a couple of things. The main point of Newton Second Law lab was for you to learn Newton Second Law. Sometimes I write too fast. So Newton's second law. Newton's second law basically states that if an object is not in equilibrium, so if the forces are unbalanced, okay, um, then the objects or object will accelerate. Okay, so unbalanced. That's what um, Newton's second law is really all about. So when we sum the forces acting on an object, those uh, that object will accelerate at a rate that is directly proportional to the force, but indirectly proportional to the mass. That's all Newton's second law is about. Unbalanced forces causing an acceleration. There will be a net force acting on the, the object. So right now as you're sitting in your seat, and you are not accelerating, not with the, not in terms of the frame of reference of the classroom. You're just sitting there. All the forces acting on you are balanced. The force of the chair pushing you up, the force of the earth pulling you down, those are all in balance with each other. As soon as they become unbalanced is when you accelerate. So when the bell rings and you put your feet on the floor and you push up, you have to apply an unbalanced force in order to cause your body to change its motion, to cause an acceleration. So Newton's second law is about unbalanced forces. Now, Newton's third law is about interactions between objects. So this is that for every force, there's an equal and opposite force between two bodies. You probably learned that as um, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Well, I want to use a more specific term. I want us to start using the word force. For every force, there's an equal and opposite force between two bodies. So sometimes determining what those two bodies are can be... Um, kind of tricky. So for example, if you're sitting in your chair, so here you are sitting in your chair and minding your own business, there is a gravitational force from the earth down on you. Okay, so that's a force on a body. But there has to be two bodies an equal and opposite force. So what's causing that gravitational force is the earth. Okay, so here's the earth. Imagine I can draw a big giant earth. And you are actually pulling up on the earth with a force that is equal but opposite to the direction of the gravitational force that the earth applies to you. So two body interaction. For every force, there's an equal and opposite force between two bodies. So let's see how we can sum forces on objects, on systems with two bodies.